Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Travel with Rick. My co-host, Leslie, is here. Hey, sweetie. Hi, how you doing? Awesome. My <laughs> wife, Leslie, is with us. And we've got a few other friends that are going to be joining us here in a bit. They're not here right now, but through the magic of video editing, we've got some other folks that are going to be joining us. Nice. Because we've got kind of a unique show for you. We're going to be talking about our favorite cruise tips. Why are we doing that, Leslie? Because it is cruise month coming up. It's cruise month on Travel with Rick all <laughs> September long. Hey, next month is going to be all food and wine, all October long. So we figured we'd dedicate this month to cruising. So what we decided we would do, we got some cruises next week. And the following week, we're going to be telling about actually all this month. We're going to talk about our Norway and our Baltic cruise. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about our cruise on the Quantum of the Seas, your yes. first time on Royal, Royal Caribbean. Yes. And we're also going to be talking about our Eastern Caribbean that we recently mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. So we've got some great cruise talk coming up for you. And as I said, it is cruise month. So you want to stick around to the absolute end of the show because we got a great special for you if you're thinking about taking a cruise on your own. So, I told you I have a few of my friends. I got some friends that are cruisers. You're a cruiser. I'm a cruiser. You like cruising a lot, mm -hmm. right? Your mom cruise, we cruise, we all cruise, right? Yeah. It's pretty awesome. We love cruising here, and I've got some friends that really love cruising as well. So with all the cruises you've we've taken, you think we have a few tips, right? Uh, we have a, a one or two good tips. All right, <laughs> so I told you we have some people coming up. Let's just roll right into those cruise tips. Who's up first? Number one tip, bring a magnetic dry erase board with you. They're really good to stick on the inside of your cabin door so you can leave notes for your family or friends, whoever you're cruising with. And they're also fun to stick on the outside of the door. We like to do a question of the day, ask people where they're from, what their favorite movie is. It's a great way to interact with um, your fellow shipmates that are on the floor, same floor as you. Number two, if you want the ship to yourself, you don't like swimming in a pool where you're elbow to elbow with your fellow uh, cruise passengers, try to stay in on a port day. You'll actually have the entire ship to yourself and it's quite glorious. Um, number three, you want to bring alcohol on board the ship. Drinks are really expensive. Um, every cruise line has different rules for this, so make sure that you check online um i and i know the rules are changing all the time sometimes they'll allow you to bring beer sometimes spirits usually it's one bottle of wine per person um so check the rules and go ahead and bring on uh what you're allowed to bring on and you usually have to bring that on in like a backpack or a carry-on and what i also suggest you bring in that backpack or carry-on is a change of clothes and your bathing suit because your luggage if you leave it with a porter won't always arrive to your room before your dinner, especially if you have early seating. So if you are swimming and you want to not go into the main dining room, which they won't allow you to, in your bathing suit cover up, bring a change of clothes and put that in your backpack with your alcohol. Another tip, tip number four I think we're on, um, is bring a pair of closed-toed shoes or water shoes. A lot of beaches um, in the ports that you're going to go to, they may look like they have sandy bottoms, but a lot of them actually have rocky bottoms. And also, if you're doing anything like zip lining or um, some of the cruise ships have like a ropes course on them, you have to have closed-toed shoes. So don't just think you're gonna throw some flip-flops or sandals in your luggage and be okay, be on island time. Try to bring a pair of closed-toed shoes. And my number one tip is um, check your daily newsletter that they give you on embarkation day, they usually have killer deals at the spa and also at the restaurants that you may have to pay like a little bit of an upcharge for. Usually on embarkation day or port days, you can get really, really great deals. So those are my five cruise tips and I hope to see you out on the high seas soon. Bye-bye. Hi, this is John Chow from Cruise Addicts and I've got a cruise tip for you today. On your next cruise, don't set up for these little baby cups that the cruise line gives you at the buffet. You can actually bring along a nice large bucket like this. Bringing a big cup like this will save you trips, keep you hydrated during a hot cruise, and also save you time. For coffee drinkers, you can bring a large insulated cup like this as well. It too will save you trips, keep your coffee nice and hot, and it'll make your cruise that much better. Happy cruising. Hi everyone, I am Leslie, and my cruise tip is this. Sometimes when you cruise or wish to go to a particular destination, you can choose the cruise ship 
and the destination will match and then sometimes it won't match and you have to try a different cruise line and the beauty of this is that you may go on a smaller ship you may go on a larger ship but you want to be able to pick your destination and enjoy the cruise ship and it may be something different like I mentioned earlier which is fine but it allows you to enjoy other destinations and that is the beauty of cruising being able to see smaller ports on a smaller cruise ship that can go into other destinations or a large ship that goes into very large ports that are busier with more tourists it really depends on what you wish to do and the beauty of it is also is that you only have to pack and unpack once Right, and you had a great example of that for your cruise that's coming up to Gibraltar in Spain. Right, that you wanted to go on a particular cruise line, but that line didn't go there. Right, didn't have that itinerary this year. Correct, and you had to choose a different cruise line. Then, yes, right? we did. We did. My mother and I, we are avid Princess Cruise Line people, and we could not find the itinerary, the particular itinerary that my mother wanted to do on Princess. So we had to choose a different cruise line and we went with Celebrity and it is a it is a smaller ship. Well, it's not a small small ship, but it's probably about the size of the Wonder, I believe it is, the Wonder and the Magic. And it goes into some of these ports that specifically that my mother wanted to go into uh, into Spain and Portugal and specifically she wanted to stop in Gibraltar hmm. for the day. And some of these cruise lines did not stop there for the day. They kind of went by it and and that type of thing, and we wanted to stop there for the day. Yeah, we got a cruise by at one time. Yeah, we, we did when we did that we did repositioning. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of cool. It was nice to Atlantic. see it. Yeah, yeah. see the Straits of Gibraltar. We had um, Africa on one side and mm -hmm. Europe on the other side. You could yes. basically almost look like you could throw a rock to Europe or throw a rock over to Africa yeah. on the other side of the ship. Kind of cool. The continents. Like, I mean, imagine yeah. <laughs> you know the Straits of Gibraltar it separates two continents, so it's yeah. pretty cool. So there's all kinds of interesting destinations you can choose right. on a cruise. So, you know, that's Leslie's tip is to uh, is just to think about all the different places that you can go, right? I right. mean, it's just amazing some of the destinations. We've been to Alaska. We've been, uh, just got back from Norway. That was an amazing oh, itinerary. Oh, yeah, that was. The Med, both the Baltic and the, the, the Mediterranean are just amazing. The Greek Isles, that's Greek something Isles. I want to do. You've yeah. done the British Isles. Run, done the British Isles, yes. It was an amazing, yeah, amazing it was a nice, cruise that you had, right? It was a gorgeous cruise, actually. It was it was fantastic. And that was on Princess also. It, we, it was a great uh, experience to right. do these with my mom. And this year, well, next year, actually, 2016, Disney is going to the British Isles mm -hmm. for the first time. Same so. itinerary, actually, that uh, Princess did. Pretty cool. Uh, Princess does also. Pretty but cool. the beauty, of I think, of going on other cruise lines is the opportunity of sailing on some really small ships. One year, Mom and I sailed on a really small passenger ship of Princess. They only have two of these ships and it was 600 passengers and wow. really allowed us to get into some of these really tiny ports at, and the experience was just incredible. Uh, it, was a, it was a type of Mediterranean cruise where we went into Portofino and we went into uh, Croatia, but not Dubrovnik, into another smaller port in Croatia. And then we went into Corfu. So a lot of these smaller ports, and Corfu being outside of Greece, uh, you really have to have a smaller ship to be able to port there. And it was really a awesome experience to be on a smaller ship because it's a whole different experience because you don't have all the glitz and glory you know that you do have on the larger s sailings like sweet, that sweet mm -hmm. sweet so i guess not just where you're wanting to go but how you're going to get there is really important then yeah. right yeah yeah so. where how yeah you got to take all those fast all those facets and put them together and and that's one of the beauty also i think i keep saying that word beauty but is discussing things with a travel agent that can match what you're looking for this is what i want to do miss travel agent or mr travel agent this is what i want to do show me how to get there or match me up with a cruise line that number one that will match what, where you're wanting to go in addition to what will be the activities and sometimes those activities may not line up like on a smaller ship may not line up if you're looking for all the big glitz and glory you might have to do a little bit of um, what do you call a, 
I forgot the word I'm looking for, but compromising, mm, okay. compromising yeah. on on your on your desires a little bit. So. Right. It's, it's all these things that where a travel agent can really help you put things into perspective. Right. And, you know, that's the nice thing about it. You know, if you're on a smaller ship, as Leslie said, you can get into smaller ports mm -hmm. and you're on a more intimate thing. I mean, maybe not as many dining options, no. you know, I mean, Correct. you're basically, you know, you're almost getting to know everybody on the ship. Whereas you go on yeah. some cruise lines and you're on there with four or 5,000 passengers and there are 18 dining locations yeah. and, you know, tons of shows and tons of entertainment and tons of things to do. And then some things it's just more about the cruise experience than the as you said the glitz and glamour of it that's yeah. a good way of putting it i think right it is right. so so not only looking at your line because every line is different lines have their cruise lines have their own personality right yes, royal they feels do. a certain way disney feels a certain way princess mm -hmm. each one kind of has their own personality so thinking about matching the cruise line with the destination mm -hmm. and the itinerary mm -hmm. um Great tip, baby. Yep. Great tip. Awesome. Sure. Well, guys, we've got some more tips coming up for you. Yay. Well, hey, everybody. John here. And if I had to give you a cruise tip, one of my favorite cruise tips would be to make sure that you take advantage of all the really cool amenities on the ship. I mean, a lot of the ships have, you know, games that you can play throughout the day, special events that happen for people of all ages, from little kids all the way up to us grown-ups. And, and it's a lot of fun to take advantage of these. You know, sometimes it's trivia, sometimes it's special board game night, sometimes it's it's just hanging out and uh, doing some things like, you know, on certain ships they do tastings of different cocktails or show you how to prepare different foods or even different cocktails or, you know, different things that you can do to, to learn and have fun at the same time. But my favorite tip, if you're taking a Disney cruise, let me share my favorite tip with you. One of the things that my wife and I love to do the most is we get to the end of the day. We've had a long day. It's a lot of fun. Uh, they have free Disney movies on, on the TV within the staterooms themselves. And so what we do is we pick a movie that we might uh, not have seen or we might have seen a hundred times. Just whatever we're in the mood for. And then we'll call room service. And room service many times is free unless you order certain things like alcoholic beverages or certain sodas. Sometimes they charge for that. But for the most part, like on a Disney cruise... The uh, room service is free, and we always end the night with two giant chocolate chip cookies and some cold milk, and we watch a Disney movie, and that's the best way to end our day on a cruise. We've done things like that on other ships, but on a Disney cruise, it's just a little bit more magical. Well, that's my tip. I hope you guys enjoy it. Look forward to hearing some of the other tips on this video. Well, hey, I'm Rick, and here's my cruise tip for you. Get off the ship. I know, it sounds like a no-brainer, right? But there's a lot of things to think about when you get into port, right? So there are scheduled excursions, planned excursions by the cruise line. So if you're on Disney or Princess, they'll have their own cruise desk somewhere on the ship and you can plan these out in advance. And they're awesome. You can also, you may not know this, you can also plan excursions on your own. You don't have to go to the cruise line. There are shore trips and there's other companies out there that you can plan your excursion with. They'll be awesome. Sometimes they're a little cheaper than with the cruise line. Mm -hmm. But what you have to remember is if you plan them through the cruise line, you'll never miss the boat. Um, if you plan them on someone else, you're kind of at their mercy. So don't want to don't want to scare you with that one. Most of these companies, they run well. They get you back on the ship on time. There's no problem. But you can be guaranteed that if you planned it through the ship, through their own cruise desk, if something happens, you get caught in traffic, someone has a problem and you can't, the bus or the van or whatever you're in, can't get back to the port, that ship will leave. If you are planned it through the cruise line, that ship won't leave. They'll wait for their own excursions to get mm -hmm. back. We've had that case happen mm -hmm. happen a few times that we've mm -hmm. been waiting on people. And and like I said, if you planned it through the ship, through the through the particular cruise line that you're on, they'll wait for you. If you're out on your own, if you just happen to be wandering around, you know, in port, they'll leave you, won't they, baby? Yeah, they, we've seen that happen. I've seen it happen. We've seen the jog. Yeah, and you <laughs> see the sprint. Times. It's actually yeah. the, the OJ yeah, sprint. The, the little sprint down to the down to the thing. So that's what that's two ways you can do it. You know, something we like to do, and we have friends that do this as well. Certain ports, certain ports, you, you I mean, there's things you want to see, and it's good to do an excursion. If you know you want to go to the Cliffs of Moher, or if you want to do whatever. Um, I was trying to think of what that church was, the rock. I, I was going to call it Church on the Rock when we were in Norway. Remember that? And, you know, that's something that we definitely wanted to see in the port. 
and you know, we could have taken a taxi there, but we just did a scheduled excursion yeah, to go and which see in, that. Actually included that, yeah. Included yeah. the admission to get mm -hmm. in there and everything. So that's important. But you know what we like to do in certain ports is just get off the ship and walk into town. Yeah. You know, um, but, you know, Leslie's talked about cruising with her mom quite a bit, and 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 you do a lot. She has a little saying that I like to remember that I don't live by, but, <laughs> but it's a saying I like to joke about. She says once you see once you've seen one Caribbean <laughs> island, you've seen them all. Why get off? You know, a lot of people think like that. I tend to believe that every island has its own flavor, and that's what I like to do. I like to get off the ship, go on the island, get past the, you know, the rum stands and the, you know, the souvenir shops and the t-shirt places and whatnot. Get on into the island, find where the locals go, wander down a street. Not, you know, be safe, but I'm not. I'm not suggesting you just go wandering off anywhere crazy. But you know. Um, I'll use Key West for an example. Key West is a is a great little town uh, that's a great little cruise port, right? And there are dozens of more of them all through the Caribbean, right? Just like Key West. But don't just go to Sloppy Joe's or Rick's across the street. Um, you know, go a couple of blocks off of Duval. You're going to find some other interesting restaurants and other, there's cool places. You know, so the same thing when you stop on a Caribbean island. You know, go in. Find a local bar, sit down, and start talking to someone. A lot of fun, right? It is. A lot of fun. Puts a whole different spin on the trip. All right. All right. So that's my cruise tip for you right there. Mm -hmm. You know, but now I'm going to flip it around, too. I told you to get off the ship. I'll give you another little tip. Um, when the ship's in port, there's no one on the ship. So sometimes staying on the ship can be fun, too, because yeah. you basically have the whole place to yourself. Catch a movie, go to the nice dining location for lunch, or whatever. So get off the ship. But if you don't want to, stay on the ship and have a great time on the boat. Yeah, you know, that's a good way nice. to look around. All right, that's my tip. When it's time to plan your next vacation, you need the experience of someone who can help you make the best decision for your vacation dollars. With over 18 years of experience, Kingdom Magic Vacations can help you plan your next trip to incredible destinations like Disney, Universal, Cruises, and all-inclusive destinations. Our team of travel planners are with you every step of the way. All you have to do is relax and enjoy your vacation. We do all the work. Call 866-972-6244 or visit KingdomMagic.com to start planning your vacation today. Wow. Well, those are some really good cruise tips. I got something out of that. Absolutely. I did too. All right. Love I hope, learning. I hope you guys did. That's the cool thing about having different people on. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got a different opinion about it, right? What one person might think about it, the other may look at it a different way. Mm -hmm. So we brought you in some different opinions to kind of... Uh, kick off cruise month here on travel with rick you'll yes. be back next week for yes. another episode right mm -hmm. i sure will we got something else coming up for you next week and then all month long and speaking of coming up if you're thinking about taking a cruise over at kingdom magic vacations our sponsor our real job <laughs> we are offering a special all month long to say to you guys get out there and cruise mm -hmm. right absolutely right so use the link below and remember to mention promo code TWR Cruise, and we've got a very special gift for you. Depending on the length of your cruise, could depend on the size of your gift. Exactly. Right. right? Yes. So check it out, um, KingdomMagicVacations.com or or KingdomMagicTravel.com. KingdomMagic.com will get you there as well. Or use the link below and remember to mention promo code TWR Cruise. Well, thanks to all of our friends who were here, but are not here now. It's just you and I. Thanks for sharing your tip, sweetie. <laughs> sure. And thanks, guys, for following along with our tips. Hope you enjoyed them. Hope to see you right back here next week and all month for our big cruise spectacular month. So long, everybody. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks a lot for watching this week's show. We're here on the beautiful brilliance of the seas. Look at this ship behind me. This whole ship, not this ship, but this whole ship is gorgeous. It's just absolutely beautiful. And this is Schooner Bar, one of our favorite places we've been hanging out on the ship because it's all nautically themed like this. Just incredible. Listen, we wanted to remind you to drop your email address up there in the upper right hand corner. That way you're signed up for our feed. Every time we put something new here on the blog, you'll be the first to find out about it and you won't miss a thing. If you want to find out everything else that we're doing, check out our Facebook page, facebook.com slash travel with Rick. That's where we put our question of the week. You can find out where we're going, hear what we think about where we've been, and hang out with other Travel with Rick friends. If you're on iTunes or YouTube, yep, yeah, we have channels in both of those places as well. So check those out over there. Also, you never know where we're going to be. So check us out right back here next week for another episode of Travel with Rick. So long, everybody.